Welcome! This video is an introduction for people currently using DDE to convert to using RTD in Excel. In July of 2001, Microsoft introduced real-time data, RTD, functionality to replace Dynamic Data Exchange, DDE, as a method to update Excel spreadsheets with real-time market data. DDE will no longer be supported by CQG products. What is wrong with Dynamic Data Exchange for real-time data? DDE has often been used to try to implement real-time data in Excel, but it has several limitations. DDE has a different function format from standard Excel functions. DDE can't use cell references in a function. Everything must be hard-coded. DDE gets confused when things are happening in Excel. For example, a calculation is taking place, a dialog box needs to be handled, and so on. DDE wasn't designed for getting asynchronous data in Excel in a robust and high-performance way. RTD has many advantages. It uses Excel function like syntax. It puts real-time data in a cell. Uses cell references as part of the formula, a very key feature. Updates in real-time. Is extremely efficient. Does not drop updates. Modal dialog boxes shouldn't have any effect. Is able to drive calculations. Formulas based on cells that reference real-time data should update accordingly. Keeps track of the state and location of real-time data formulas so that the server doesn't have to. RTD uses a hybrid push and pull mechanism. This effectively gives it all of the advantages of both push and pull mechanisms and none of the disadvantages of either mechanism. So now let's look at an example of a DDE spreadsheet. Here's an example of DDE links being used in an Excel spreadsheet. I'm pulling the last quote, net change, bid, ask, open, high, and low. Down here I've commented out the DDE link and you can see how it's made up. Below it, here, highlighted now, is the RTD link. The really nice thing about RTD is that I can actually go in and replace this ZSEN7 symbol with a cell reference, such as A1. And then when I change the cell in A1 to a different symbol, this will automatically update. More about that in a second. So let's say I wanted to build this same spreadsheet using RTD links. And by the way, it probably took me 20 minutes to do this with DDE. So now I'm going to switch over to CQG. Here I have a quote spreadsheet version 2. That is found here. And I have configured this to show the same information as I have for this DDE spreadsheet. I'm going to add one more column, and that's for the low, so I right click, add columns, put in low, select it, add, close. And now here's the low also. Now to bring this over to Excel, I just simply right click on the symbol, copy to Excel, go back to Excel, and I hit Control V, and you can see the RTD links have come through. However, they come through with the same symbol that was on the quote spreadsheet. So what I'm going to do now is I want to change this symbol to a cell reference. So I'll just go in and I'll say select those, go find and replace. And you can see the CLE is actually in quotes. So I want to find that and I'm going to replace it with the cell reference K2. Notice I do not use quotes. So I've made the seven references. So here we now we see everything is referencing cell K2. So let's say I come over here and I select my symbols, paste them into here, come back, select this, copy and paste down, do some minor number formatting. The 
This came through as a decimal. That's what this B, or excuse me, T stands for. Let's change this to be a bond price. So again, find and replace. I'm going to replace T with B. Notice I'm using quotes. And now these are in bond prices. And that's all I did. I just simply went over to the quote spreadsheet version 2. I created the same columns I wanted, copy to Excel, paste it here, and then reference the cells. So that took me, what, two minutes to do compared to the 20 minutes it took for me to do all of this. Now we're going to be looking at studies. Now in this section, we'll be looking at studies in RTD. Many of you DDE users are probably familiar with this spreadsheet that gives you sample formulas using DDE to pull in study data, such as here, the moving average, the high and the low for Bollinger Bands. We have a similar spreadsheet for RTD. So I'm going to show you our website and how you can find these things. So here's cqg.com. Click here on CQG RTD and Excel. And here you'll find approximately 200 posts that I have done that are either dashboards that display market data for particular exchanges, as well as how-to posts, such as custom study values in Excel using RTD. Now to get that study data sample, you click here under RTD samples, and you can see here it is, a similar spreadsheet only using RTD. And you can download it. Also notice you can email me from any post if you have specific questions. Now let's go back to Excel. Here I have the RTD formulas for the Bollinger Bands. The moving average, excuse me, the, the high, the moving average, and the low Bollinger Band. Here is the DDE links showing you the same information. And again, here's the really nice advantage of using RTD. You can see here I reference cell, excuse me, CLE for the symbol, and I can replace that with a cell reference. Now I'm going to use dollar signs to lock that as a reference in case I wanted to copy and paste this someplace else. And I can also choose a cell for the time frame. So here it is, the D. And again, I want to use the dollar signs for referencing this. Now, one of the things to understand about RTD is within this quote is the string parameters. We can't just reference a cell for, say, for example, the 20 here for the look pack period of the Bollinger Bands. In this case, we have to use a technique called concatenation. So I'm going to remove the 20, excuse me, not the equal sign, and I put in a quote, because this is going to close the string, an ampersand, and then click on the cell here, E3, another ampersand, and another quote. So now, this will reference the look-back period at 20 in cell E3. And again, I want to lock this. So now if I change this to, say, 10, you can see the value changed to 10. If I want to change it to a, say, 5-minute chart, it also changes. Now, using this same formula. Let's say I wanted to look backwards and what we want to use is a 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. And I'm going to paste this Bollinger Band high here. And here is where we would reference 
the look back period. Now notice I'm not going to use dollar signs because I want to see today. Excuse me, I'll format this for a number. And here's for the last five days. So you can see it's referencing the symbol here, the time frame, the look back period for the Bollinger Bands and from, from five bars ago for five minute bars. Now let's say you're really comfortable with DDE and so to make it easier we do have the ability to take a DDE formula and create a hybrid RTD formula. So now I'm gonna copy this and put this here. Format it to be two numbers, two digits. I'm going to comment this out so I can see it. So here's the RTD call. I just need this section. So I remove this and replace it with that RTD DLL link. I need a quote here and I need a quote here and then a closing parentheses. And you can see what I have here is a hybrid. I have the RTD, so it's using the RTD, CQG RTD DLL to access CQG, but it's using the same uh, syntax as in a DDE link. So this would make it easier for you to be able to uh, convert your work over. Now CQG also offers a RTD toolkit. And I'll show you where that is that you can download. Right now, everything I've showed you does not require this toolkit. And the toolkit has some advantages. Um, it, however, it is limited in terms of studies. But let me show you where it is on cqg.com. Go back here to samples. If you recall, I, I clicked on RTD samples, and here it is where you can download it. Now, there are two versions, one for 32-bit Excel, one for 64-bit Excel. And there's a YouTube video that you can watch on how to use this, but I will show you some key features here momentarily. If you're not sure what version of Excel you have, you go up here, Account, About Excel, and you can see up here I have 64-bit Excel. So let's go ahead and look at some of the features of the RTD Toolkit. We have a derivatives list. This is similar to the um, uh, all contracts window in CQG. So I have EP in here. I have uh, it around quotes again, output to J11. And so you can see this looks like the uh, all contracts window. Okay, so let's look at using label data. Here I can pick the contract to be here, or I could type in EP. And I could say I want to see the last quote of the day. I want to see the net last quote. And I want to see the uh, names of the columns. So I just click now add. And so here I have last quote of the day for the E-mini and the net last quote. Another one would be DOM data. Again, I can select EP. And I want price, time, type, and the volume. And I want to see, say, five above and five below, starting in P9. So here you have the last price, the time, these are asked prices, and here's the resting volume. Let's say I want to pull in some historical data. So maybe this time I'll just put in EP. I want the time, the open, the high, the low, and the close for, we'll just use 10. And so here's the time, the open, the high, the low, and the close. And by the way, I had five minutes selected in there. 
And last, let's look at studies. Now, we only have five studies. And so, uh, you have to use the other spreadsheet with all the studies for any additional studies you want to look at. So we'll look at the uh, E-mini, S&P, using five minute bars, a 21 day, 21 period moving average, and I'll just look at 10. And this is going to be populated in M20. And so here it is, five minute, and this is a simple moving average. Now, I want to show you a lot of the information that's available for you on the CQG website for RTD users. In our final section, I want to show you all the resources available for you at cqg.com at the workspaces post. If you scroll down, you can see that there are numerous dashboards as well as articles on how to pull in market data. These things have tags to them. So for example, you can want to look at options related dashboards. Here's an example. Here's a sample that you can download that allows you to change the models available for the various Greeks used in the Excel spreadsheet. We have a lot of tags. And finally, if you click on this Workspaces Index, it'll show you all the posts that I have produced. Now, an easy thing to do is to hit Control F and then say type in something such as correlation. And you'll see that I have nine posts and now the correlation based dashboards are highlighted and you can just click right on them to go to the post. Maybe you would like to see bringing in a price using time. Hit Control F. Here's pulling data into Excel by date and time. This concludes our webinar. For any additional help, please contact CQG support. I'm Tom Hartle. Thank you for your time.